a supplemental, I guess you could call it, to my review of A Wrinkle in Time is just how much uh, social justice stuff they really, really tried to cram down your throat in it, especially at the beginning. Before the movie actually started, you get to see the director come on the screen and talk about how hard everyone worked on the project. And then they pan around to how diverse the, the, the uh, crew is and, you know, we hope you'll, you'll uh, you know, feel, just, just the standard, oh, we hope you'll feel good about this movie and the hard work and, and it's just like, I don't need to hear any of this before watching a movie. I don't, I don't need any of it. It kind of set a bitter tone right from the very start. But then, when you saw bits of it just sort of snuck in there, um, even some of the musical choices, it's just like, oh, come on. Come on. It, it just... I, I haven't read the source material, but it just didn't seem like that's the way that, that the story should flow. And one of the worst things about it, just just the entire flow of the movie, it just felt like one scene added to another scene, and then you add, and then you just you just all these random things kind of all sewn together. Not they didn't present a story very well. It it just it, it was just really 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 poorly done. Um. After I watched it, I was looking at some of the reviews, and someone, one person said, oh, it was cringeworthy. And I'd have to agree, it was cringeworthy. Like I said, not quite to the level of Never Ending Story 2, but that's about as low as you can go, as far as a kind of a fantasy genre. So, anyway. <sighs> 